Hey everyone, it's Mark Saltzman here for Sync. On today's segment, we're going to take a look at the much-hyped iPad from Apple, the uh, gadget that is now available in Canada, and uh, many are scooping them up. They start at $549, they go all the way up to $879. We'll talk about the differences in a moment, but instead of a written review, which you can also find on Simpatico, by the way, I wanted to give you a walkthrough of some of the cool features of the iPad in case you're uh, curious about it and uh, want to pick one up. So as you can see, it is a very thin, nearly 10 inch tablet. And much like the iPod Touch or iPhone, you can use your fingertip to swipe through your applications and uh, surf the web, read your email, download and read electronic books and digital magazines, play games, movies, music, and, and much more. And I'll demonstrate a lot of that for you in a moment. You can also probably tell, I'm in a pretty bright room right now because I wanted the lighting to be good for this uh, video chat. Um, so as a result, you can see it's got a glossy screen. It does look great, but you could have some problems reading electronic books in the sun. It's not as good as those anti-glare screens on an Amazon Kindle or a Kobo or, or Sony reader. But uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. As long as you angle it a certain way, it's just fine. And I don't do that much reading in direct sunlight anyways. But um, just wanted a little, uh, give you a little caveat because of the room that I'm in right now. All right, let's demonstrate some of the cool features of the iPad. Book reading is going to be one of them. You can download books from the iBook store, which is part of iTunes. And you can use your fingertip to swipe through the pages like a real book. So how cool is that? And if there's a word that you don't understand, you double tap and you tap the word dictionary and it gives you a definition right there. Much like other electronic books that you would download, you can adjust the font as well. You can make it larger or smaller, so uh, that's a, a nice advantage. And there are thousands of titles to choose from, many of which are free. Bestsellers are about 10 bucks a pop. So as a book reader, it looks great, if you don't mind that glare. All right. All right. Let's look at maps. So this is Google Maps. This is where we are, uh, where I am, rather, uh, just north of Toronto. So much like the iPhone or iPod Touch, you can zoom in, get directions. And this is a satellite uh, view, but you can also get a regular street view and uh, as well and share this information and uh, put little, little push pins uh, on the map. Video looks great. So there's an icon here from video for a video. This is a, um, a downloaded trailer for an upcoming movie. Take a look at this. <laughs> so looks great the video this the video quality is fantastic this is the kind of device that you would load up with movies uh, and TV shows for the kids in the backseat on a long road trip it's got a nearly 12 hour battery so uh, certainly a, a great travel companion for kids and kids at heart uh, this is my email down there so you can read your email I'm using Wi-Fi there's also 3g versions of uh, the iPad we'll get into the differences in a moment but you just tap your email opens it up full screen you can reply to all forward anything you can do on a PC uh, web browser so this is Safari uh, I am surfing the web here I'll just uh, go to a, a website like let's say CNN.com and uh, as you likely know by now you can't uh, surf the web uh, when there's websites that use a lot of flash or Java some Java so it depends on the games and movies you want to um, access there is a workaround however however with a free app called cloud browser and uh, I wrote about that on the sync blog so you might want to check it out but surfing the web with a fingertip feels great so unlike a mouse and keyboard um, you know just picking this up off the coffee table and surfing the web and pinching and zooming and rotating just feels amazing games are great on this thing so not not only are there games designed for the iPad that you would buy, but this is, for example, an iPhone game, popular one called Doodle Jump. So what you want to do to play this is simply tap the little 2x button in the corner, and it, en it enlarges it full screen, and then it's absolutely great. It looks really good, even though it's blown up. Okay, I can't play this backwards. It looks really good on the iPad when it stretches it full screen. And to me, this is one of the most important things about the iPad is that out of the box, it works with more than 200,000 of the uh, downloadable apps already available at iTunes. So it's plugging into a very uh, healthy ecosystem already, not to mention all the hardware accessories already available. This is especially important if you've already made an investment and you've bought some games for your iPhone or iPod Touch or other applications because it'll work out of the box. Uh, when you sync your iPod, uh, sorry, iPad rather, to your Mac or PC, it'll automatically copy everything over. There's other cool applications like music playing, and you can uh, write music on this thing, layer it. This is a free app, by the way. 
Comic books look amazing. So this is a Marvel app for the iPad that looks amazing. So you can um, look at it like this. Uh, you can go forward and back like you can a regular um, comic book, or you can have more of an animated uh, sort of feel where you go frame by frame, which is pretty wild. And you buy the books digitally as well. So as you can see, there's so much to do with the iPad with all the different apps available. This is a music app called TuneIn Radio. You uh, basically have access to more than 30,000 stations from around the world. And uh, music quality sounds great. You can even record songs you like. So as you can tell, I love this thing. I've been playing around with it for about a month. It hope hopefully I gave you a good taste of all the things you can do with it. It is not how However, a full computer. Keep in mind some of its shortcomings. There's no webcam, so you can't eye chat. No expandable memory. There's no uh, micro SD or SD card slots or USB ports, so you can't expand the memory beyond what you commit to at purchase. 16, 32, or 64 gigs of memory. Um, there's uh, the, the flash problem with the web browser, even though there's a workaround. Um, no multitasking yet until Apple releases their firmware update later this summer that will let you do multiple things at once. So it's not a perfect device, nor is it a true computer replacement, but overall, I'm uh, really smitten with the iPad. And if you've got the cash from 549 to 879, and that's whether you want 16, 32, or 64, as well as Wi-Fi or 3G or cell phone connectivity, um, this is definitely for you. If you at least get a chance to put your hands on it, you'll you'll understand what why Steve Jobs is calling this a magical device. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark. Sol